since Genshin Impact was released, most of the banners have been pretty good. Um, all of the characters have been, you know, pretty anticipated. Zhang Li kind of stood out as one of those characters that everyone was like, oh, at least before he came out, right? Everyone was like, oh, I can't wait for Zhang Li. But I think the most anticipated character since the game's release has been Zhao. You know, he was in the closed beta testing a year ago before the game was even out. Uh, he was a big part of the promotional material. He's kind of been on their website since uh, they had a website. And when the game came out, people were like, oh, where's Zhao? We need him. We need him. He's just a cool looking character. He's got the Oni mask and he's like the demon guy. And the main story quest that we all played when the game first came out, the initial one that we got to play, he was a big part in that. We made him the almond tofu. I think people are just really excited for Zhao. I know that there's a lot of free-to-play players that have been saving their Primo gems since they started for like almost four months now. They've just been saving Primos for that Zhao. But what happened last month? MiHoYo, they said, you know, they decided to just throw a little wrench in the cogs here of the uh, Zhao main's minds. They said, hey, here's a little wrench. And the wrench, it had uh, some goat horns, you know. It was wearing a very tight black bodysuit. It's a good looking wrench, alright guys? You, you know who I'm talking about? I'm talking about Gan Yu. Gan Yu, this girl just kinda threw a wrench in everyone's plans, you know? Um, one, she's a good cryo character. There's a ton of factors that go into Gan Yu just being a great competitor to Zhao, and they're back to back. A lot of people have been talking about whether they're gonna pull for Zhao or Gan Yu, because like I said, a lot of these Zhao mains have been saving for him forever. But they see the big first waifu banner. All the other banners so far, they've been husbandos, we got lollies. This is the first big waifu banner. And whether you like it or not, people are going to spend their primos on them waifus, man. Um, so it's been a big topic of discussion. I know a lot of people are on the fence. And so I just thought I'd throw out some points there. Maybe help you decide on which might be the better bang for your buck. Before I get into the video though, I'd just like to be a shill and mention that I do stream Genshin Impact several nights a week, as well as some other multiplayer games that I play with my viewers. Um, it's a ton of fun, so please, if you wouldn't mind subscribing, just stop by the stream one day. I'll be uh, pulling for both of these characters that I'm about to talk about on stream, and I'll be testing them both out on stream as well. So if you wouldn't mind, please give the video a like, subscribe, and stop by a stream sometime. Thank you. So let's talk about the major pros of each of these characters, okay? Gan Yu is a Frost Bow user. We already have one of those in the game, admittedly, but it's Diona. Diona focuses on her shield, she has her heals. She is purely a support character, whereas Gan Yu is going to be dishing out a lot of that damage. She is a, she's that DPS, okay? Main DPS, even. I'd even go as far to say as she is going to be the best cryo cryo damage unit in the game for the foreseeable future. This alone, when comparing the two, Zhao and Ganyu, I think is a big plus for Ganyu, as with Zhao, there's quite a few animal characters that are pretty good already. He's going to be the best main DPS animal character, but if you just are looking for Animo, there's a lot of different other options, whereas Ganyu, if you want to do consistent cryo DPS, Ganyu is going to be the best option for you for the foreseeable future. It's hard to confirm how great of a main DPS that Ganyu is going to be until we actually play test her, but judging from her abilities and her stats, particularly her focus on crit damage, I think it's safe to say that she's going to be either A, A+, or maybe even S tier as far as her main DPS capabilities go. But one of my favorite things and one of the biggest factors in value that Ganyu has is her flexibility. Um, with Zhao, we can't say too much about it yet just because he's not officially confirmed. But his abilities from the closed beta testing um, have him as a very greedy main DPS. Uh, if you have him in your party and he's not on the field, he's not. you might as well not even have him in your party. He's going to do a lot of damage when he's on the field. But when he's not, might as well not even be there. Whereas Ganyu, she's going to do great as a main DPS. But with her abilities, her ult, and her element, Cryo, even when she's not on the field, if she's just in your party, 
her presence will be felt almost 100% of the time. You can pair with a D Luke and you're going to be getting melts off super easy. You have a main, like a physical DPS like Razor or Kaching. You can get those super conducts off. It's going to be 100% super conduct uptime. Um, so she can either be a great main DPS or a great support. No matter what, if you roll for her, you're always going to get some value from her, which I think is a big factor in um, value if you are planning on spending your primo gems on either one. At this point in the video, it may seem like I'm simping for Ganyu. And I'm going to be honest, I definitely am. I'm not going to lie to you guys, I simp Ganyu. But Zhao does bring a lot to the table, and there's it's worth a discussion, okay? Zhao, like I said, he is a main DPS. If you want an Animo support, roll for Sucrose, roll for Venti, try to roll for Jean. Because this guy is not going to be a great Animo support. But if you're looking for that top, top tier damage, them DPS boys, I'm talking D Luke, I'm talking Child, Zhao is going to be right up there with him. If you're stuck with like a Ning Guang or a Razor or just like a four star DPS for your main DPS right now, and Zhao comes around, you need to roll for Zhao because he is going to be top three DPS. Of course, I can't confirm anything. Um, I should mention that the gameplay that I'm showing right now is from a YouTuber. I'll put his channel in the description. Thank you for um, letting me use this footage, I guess. But this is closed beta testing stuff, so I can't confirm nothing. But my guess, this guy is greedy as heck. He's not going to have any presence if he's not on the field. But when he's on the field, man... He's going to be doing a lot of DPS. I'm calling it top three DPS. So that's a major pro for Zhao. If you don't have a great main DPS, Zhao is going to be your guy. He's top three. One really unique thing that Zhao is going to bring to the table that even characters outside of Ganyu will not is his overworld exploration abilities. Like I said, this is all kind of hearsay. Nothing's been 100% confirmed yet, but from what has been made public, Think of like Venti or Albedo and that they can pop their E and it'll help them reach places in the overworld that they couldn't before or uh, even like skip some puzzles. Zhao kind of has that utility um, without explicitly talking about anything. You'll be able to maybe get to some high places or just skip some puzzles. And that's something that if you don't have a Venti or an Albedo, it might be something to consider is his overworld exploration potential. Lastly, I want to touch on the other characters that have been announced as Gan Yu's banner. He's got Zhang Ling, Noel, and Jing Q. Excuse me if I'm uh, messing up any of those pronunciations. Really, the only good one is Jin Q. He's got a lot of good synergy with uh, Gan Yu as well, and he's just a great support overall to have in your roster. The other two are kind of niche characters. Every character can be good, so if you like the design of any of these characters, it's a good banner for you. But as far as just overall value goes, I think this this banner is pretty low on overall value. We don't know what will be in Zhao's banner yet, but it's probably going to be better than what we got here. Noel and Zhang Ling just kind of bring that banner down. There's also the potential for a new 4-star in Zhao's banner. We haven't got a new four star since uh, Diona and uh, Jin Yan. And to be honest, nothing has been announced yet. There has been beta testing for this next patch that Zhao is allegedly going to be released in. There weren't any four star characters in that. Um, but there's still a lot of time between then and now. And there could be a new four star as well as just better four stars than what we got in Zhao's banner. So if you already got all these guys at full constellation, you just don't want any of them. That could be a big factor in whether you want to pull on Ganyu or Zhao. So what are my final thoughts here, guys? Which is the best banner to roll on? I think I've made it pretty obvious that in my personal opinion, if you want to get the best bang for your buck, roll for that Ganyu, okay? She is a great main DPS. She's an outstanding support DPS. And she's got that cryo. That's just... Cryo is so lucrative in the game right now. There's no other characters that can provide that much consistent cryo on all of your enemies as she can. Um, you got Kaya, and he comes, he can't even hold a candle to Ganyu as far as cryo application goes, okay? And we're not going to see a better cryo character until maybe Ayaka. And that's 
months away, okay? Let's not even talk about Ayaka right now. With Zhao, you're getting an amazing main DPS. But if he's not on the field, you might as well not even have him, okay? So if you're looking for value, you can only spend your precious primos on one banner. Get that gone, you, okay? That's my, that's my final thoughts. That being said, let's have this disclaimer here. This is primarily a single player gotcha game. We play for the waifus, boys. Let's admit it. We play for the waifus. So you play for whichever character you think is best designed. Zhao is so cool looking. He's like this demon guy, and he's all edgy. He's like, mm, don't talk to me. I don't want to talk to humans. He's just w one of the coolest characters in the game. So roll for Zhao if you want. But if you're looking for that value, in my personal opinion, get that gone you, okay? <sighs> That's what I think. If you want to follow the meta, though, I'd play a different game. Just get the one that you think is best. Anyways, appreciate you for watching the video this far in. You made it this far. If you made it this far, maybe you like me. So give the video a like. Subscribe to my channel. As I said, I stream Genshin Impact several days a week. I also stream other party games that I play with my uh, stream as well. It's a lot of fun, so please stop by and say hello. Until then, though... Best of luck on whichever banner you choose to roll for, and I'll see you next time.